Hi guys, today's video is sponsored by Nice and Easy. And I know what you're thinking because I thought it too when they first contacted me. I thought the whole campaign was gonna be focused around hair color. And over the past few years, you guys know, I've grown out all of the hair color that was in my hair. And it's the first time in my adult life I've had my own natural hair color. And so I was a little bit nervous. Um, but it's actually quite the opposite. The whole campaign is focused around choice. I filmed a chat with my best friend Kaz, who you may have seen before, um, but I will introduce her in just a second. I filmed this video last week and the whole chat was about grey hair. So finding our first grey hairs. She actually started going grey when she was a teenager. She started covering up her grey hair with colour as a teen. Um, so I was kind of interested to see what her point of view, because we've had little conversations over the years about that, but we've never kind of sat down and had an in-depth conversation about grey hair before. Um, we've had lots of conversations about colour, which we'll get into, but um, never about kind of finding greys. I just knew that she was constantly covering it up when we first met as teenagers. And I only found my first grey hair when I was in my 30s and I was finally letting my hair grow out because previous to this, I never used to have much in the way of roots. Um, but when I did find my first grey hair, my first thought was, I don't have to colour my hair. This is, I'm really enjoying my natural hair colour for the first time ever. I can't believe I've waited this long to kind of find out what my natural hair colour is and now I'm gonna have to colour it. And that is literally the point of the whole campaign. You don't have to colour your hair just because you go grey. Nice and easy want me to talk about this inevitable milestone to you guys and they want us as a whole to have more of a conversation about this so that people are approaching the whole thing with more positivity. Like you're not going grey and then immediately or finding your first grey hair and then feeling like you have to dye your hair. They want to reinforce the message that it's a choice. Colour it, don't colour it, but always own it is literally the message of the campaign. And so they want people to be dying their hair because they want to, not because they feel like they have to. You can get involved by using the hashtag FaceYourFirst on social media if you want to tell your story or just get involved in the conversation, follow along. But for now, I'm going to leave you with the conversation that Kaz and I had last week. Bear in mind, it was super stormy. So if it's a little bit dark or you hear a lot of wind in the background, it was a crazy, crazy day to be filming, um, but it kind of was the only day the stars aligned and we could do it together. Also, my hair, I'm got, I just had it cut. Do you like it? It's feeling very sleek by comparison, so prepare yourself. Uh, but here's a chat with me and Kaz, talking a little bit about a lot. So, this is Kaz. Hello. You may have seen her in previous videos. Um, and Lola maybe will be getting involved, but she's not sure. There are three dogs yes. that at some point may want to chat to us about yeah. their own experiences. <laughs> Hovering around We'll somewhere. see, we'll see. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience in a second, but Kaz, um, you went grey, or first started going grey in your teens. Yes, uh, I think I was about 18 when I went grey, well, started going grey. So I was dyeing my hair from then. Um, so for me, really, I don't really- um, Associate it with- Yeah, with- Like getting, getting old. old. Or, you know, reaching a certain age where people get like, one grey hair. Yeah. And um, my mum went, grey in her teens as well so I kind of probably knew that it was going to be inevitable that it was going to happen to me as well um, yeah so I was dyeing my hair from about 18 so that's great because for most people I think it is one of those milestones that you are um, you, you're kind of dreading but you're also expecting and you definitely associate it with oh my god you know this is the beginning of the end this is me I feel like I'm getting mm. older yeah um, and so for you, that was a totally different experience. Yeah, but I, I've just seen it as a hindrance rather than a, you know, a symbol of age. Mm -hmm. It's it's just been a part of my life for a long time, covering up my grey hair in my landing strip. That's crazy to me. Like I've not really got to the point yet where I have to cover up my grey hair. And um, I've got like the odd strand, but I do very vividly remember getting to um, a hotel. On, on or around my 30th birthday, it was a trip for my 30th, and I looked in the mirror and it was like the least flattering hotel room mirror you've ever seen in your entire life. I would possibly put people off staying there for this reason. <laughs> um, I just got off a long haul flight, I was dehydrated, I saw these fine lines that I felt like weren't there before, I had about 25 black hairs on my chin, um, and grey hair, and I just thought, oh my god, I turned 30 and I'm old. I'm old. <laughs> that was like my like mini and crisis. Yeah, it's crazy that, yeah, that, that was like a part of your... Yeah, yeah, the milestone for me was like, oh, okay, 30 years old, that's yeah, it now. Yeah, when I've never had the grey being a part of that yeah. in my life, it's like I, I can actually, leave. we were saying earlier, weren't we, about possibly being able to leave the, the grey growing through a little bit longer than I used to, yes. because I used to do it every sort of two weeks, mm -hmm. 
Um, whereas now, I probably would leave it a little bit longer than that, which I think it's more so, it, it sort of blends in more and it's just a part of yeah. my everyday. And I suppose because I've gone blonde now, I was like really dark brown hair, mm -hmm. I've had really dark brown hair before. Um, it's not as noticeable to me, but I don't really mind it as much. I still want to cover it up. It just doesn't really bother me as much as it, it used to at all. So did you want to be blonde? Because part of me thinks, like I stopped dyeing my hair um, because of like a bit of a, a, a colouring disaster a few years ago and I couldn't really dye my hair, it just wasn't in a, in a condition to be able to do that. So I had to grow it out. Wasn't I was kind of thinking there would come a point where I'd dye it again because I've always dyed my hair. And then I kind of started to really learn to love my own natural hair colour. I really, really like the colour that it is now, but I kind of have in the back of my mind, because I'm so scared of colouring it now, because mm. I'm like, what if I change my mind and I can't get it back? Yeah, yeah, Number yeah. one, I would only do it like a, a temporary colour yeah. um, for now, but I kind of have in the back of my mind that when I do start to go grey and there's enough grey, I'm gonna use that as like my pass to start coloring it again. So, it, it's yeah. like ding, ding, ding. It's yeah. like time. It's time it's, you can start doing it again. It's. I just find it really exciting. Um, the change. Through, looking through yes. photos of people's hair mm -hmm. and going right, I'll have that next. Even because I really love the color of my hair at the moment. There's always I something did, else though. <laughs> I'm looking through photos. I feel like every sort of three weeks, I'm on my phone looking at photos of people's hair. Yeah. And Andy's like. Are you looking at people's hair? <laughs> I just want that photo with that, I just want that photo now. That's, that's what your hair looks like. I really miss that. I really miss that thing of being able to just change my hair. You've just been so restrained. I'm just so proud of you how restrained you are. You and me both. You and me both. <laughs> I can't believe I haven't. I, I'm still like itching to change it. I possibly would put like a, a temporary colour on mm. for a bit of difference, but part of me is also kind of hoping that I get um, like a grey streak. It's so weird for me to hear someone else say that they need, that they have to have grey coming through to feel like that that's the point of colouring it. Because for me, it, the reason I was colouring it is because I was going grey. Yeah. It wasn't because I wanted a change in yeah. colour, it was because I was going grey. Do you think you would have just kept your own hair colour forever? I might, I might possibly have. If I had like really nice dark brown hair, I might have... Well you weren't even, you were always dying at your own natural colour, so maybe you would have. Yeah. I think maybe I did sort of a reddish, Plummy mm. red sometimes, mm. which I really like. Oh, an early 2000s oh. plummy red. Plum Everyone red. has nearly yes. 2000s plummy red. I'm purple. Mm -hmm. The purple. I, I remember the purple. having these like streaks once. It was like a high lift, purpley red tint. Oh, I loved those those streaks. Yeah, I just, I mm. it's so it's like throughout our friendship. If I see a photo of you on time off, and I and I kind of have to think, what year was that? <laughs> Based on your hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> think <of it> now. <laughs> My hair's always been a different color. color. I just love. I just love the, the, the change of, of having a different hair colour. Mm, I really uh, regardless miss Regardless of the grey. Regard, to be honest, at one point it was because it was a necessity to do the, the whole covering up the grey. Yeah. But I do like changing my hair colour. And I've, I think I've probably had this for quite a while actually. You know, like different tones yeah, of blonde, but it always feels a bit different. And then full blonde yeah. and, and sort of going around like that, which I like doing, mm -hmm. which I think is enjoyable. Regardless of the grey, so for me the grey it's, the grey is just part just of your in, hair. It's just incidental to the yeah. situation. It's not, it, it's, I, it, I don't see it as an age thing. But then maybe um, it has also informed the fact that you've gone blonde eventually because it would have been far more difficult for you to go blonde if your hair had stayed as dark as it was. Mm -hmm. So the fact that your hair has naturally lightened, let's say, let's call it naturally, naturally lightened, lightened yeah. um, mm -hmm. has allowed you to go blonde without any like bleach or anything. Mm -hmm. So like potentially you've, it's actually been a good thing. Mm. What, I, what I quite like the idea of, you know, if you get like, like, like the amount of grey that you've got, if I get that, which is like, it's almost like a full head of highlights of grey, then you could put fun colours on it. Then you could have kind of, then they would all go like pink or glitter. something. I really like the idea of that. <laughs> like just glitter something, yeah. <laughs> or just yeah. a tint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could put just semi permanent something. things on and like yeah. tint your whole hair without really putting anything to, like mm. anything permanent on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like yeah. I, I'm quite looking forward mm. to it. It's just so funny when you say you're looking forward to it in the way that I'm like, but I've already been doing it for like 20 yeah. years. For you, it's been like a chore that you didn't want to have to like, deal I'm with. I've been ages to my life. <laughs> it's not 20 years. <laughs> I'm like, how old am I? Since I was 10. I hope you enjoyed that chat. Um, I know I did. <laughs> I know that it was great to be able to pop off on a Saturday and for Lee to say, take as long as you want. 
go to Kaz's house. I was not thanks going. I'm going to just tell him I'm working all the time. Um, so that was nice. But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you kind of got something or took something away from it. Please um, let me know in the comments if any of the things that we talked about is something that you've experienced personally. Um, but I just think it's a really refreshing message, especially from a hair colour brand, but really from any brand at all in the beauty industry, because we're constantly being told that we need X product to make ourselves better. And uh, the whole message of the campaign is that actually we could be happier, we could be as happy or just generally happy exactly as we are. We don't necessarily have to change anything about ourselves. And I think Nice and Easy's approach to that is really, really nice. I like that. Let's face it, I'm probably going to end up dyeing my hair when I get a considerable amount of grey. But I'm also interested to see how I go grey. Um, I'm not really, I don't care anymore. If I got suddenly a shock of grey in my hair, I wouldn't be running off to dye it straight away. I would probably put a funky colour in it first, but I'm not, it's not as important to me as maybe it once was. I think it is kind of funny that we age. I think it all kind of comes to a head because I'm probably feeling a little bit more confident in myself as I get older, um, around the time that I'm seeing these signs of age that my younger self may have had a meltdown over. Maybe, maybe everything's kind of coming together at the same time. Maybe that means that, but. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good now anyway. And hopefully you are after this video. Now, if you do wanna know more about the campaign or if you wanna follow Nice and Easy on Insta, both of those links will be in the information box. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening. New 